talking first, talking first, talking first. Oh, that might be a songwriter. Um, what's going on out there? In the internet world. I'm glad you watching this. I mean, listening. Um, it is I, Lord Nobody. Lord No One. We got Miss Williams in here again. Because uh, I ain't got no other people, <laughs> <laughs> no other friends. Just sit back up. So, uh, yeah, you know they can hear that. Sorry. I was showing the dog some love. Yeah, he need to get his ass on somewhere. You want to be on the podcast? Say what's up. <laughs> sure, take a last song. Anyways, tonight you. topic after listening to... Why I keep saying listening? Yeah. After watching The Minimalists, I think oh, that's yeah. what it's called? The Minimalists, yes. Minimalist. It's called Minimalism, a true documentary. But them together, what? which do you remember the dude's name? Hell and no. Let's look him up. The How? Bro, I'm move sorry. him, bro. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Just tell him to go sit down. What are go you sit doing? down. Go sit down. To turn this into a damn reality show. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, because he's stepping on my legs and they sore. Retard. Anyways, the what is called the minimalist. Yeah. Movie. Minimalist. <laughs> it's uh directed by Matt D. Avella. Uh, cast with Sam Harris, Dan Harris, Jeff Saris. God damn. Sam Harris, Dan Harris, Seth, Jeff Saris, Ryan Nic- Nicodemus, <laughs> Nicodemus. How you don't? How you know it's not Nicodemus? It might be, but okay, I'm pretty then. sure it's Nicodemus. So what's so funny? <laughs> anyway, I guess the two dudes was named what Matt and Ryan, or Josh. Matt and ooh, Whatever. that's a good question. I don't know. Anyway, them together, they call themselves the minimalists. Um, so we decided to do kind of like a review slash, um, you know, a little podcast conversation on it. So without um, getting too in-depth... I think this was a genius fucking documentary because I stand on these principles uh, for quite a while. So um, I guess it's Dan and Josh. Uh, uh, if you look it up, look up on IMDb. They got a short description that's very very short. Never even seen this before. Uh, Minimalism is the title of the movie slash documentary. And it says, how might your life be better with less? Mm-hmm. How might your life be better with less? Question mark. So I guess that's, uh, God damn, the popularity, popularity is uh, declining. All right, so um, basically these two guys uh, was climbing the corporate ladder in their early 20s up to their what, late 20s. Mm-hmm. One was a, a stockbroker. I don't know what they were. They worked with the same company, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, basically, we uh two motherfuckers who don't know what the fuck we're talking about sound like. <laughs> and we just watched the shit. But anyway, you know how documentaries be long as hell. But in a nutshell, two dudes uh, wind up working together for quite a while in their 20s uh, in corporate America, making a lot of money, this and that. But then uh, started noticing that uh, they wanted to acquire more things in, in, in a sense. Basically, keeping up with the Joneses type thing. It's like every mm-hmm. time something new came out. Or one dude was saying he was moving into his apartment and kind of going over a list of all the shit that he realized mm-hmm. he had, he quote unquote had to buy for his place. I wish I can just like 
reach out to them and just really get them on here in another episode once we get our shit together. But uh, I think it's pretty genius. Uh, the topic of how to live better with less shit is the whole thing in a nutshell. So subconsciously, you don't even know that you're doing the shit until like, you know, maybe you done been in the mall for damn too long. Then you say, hey, I've been in here buying too much shit. But you don't realize you done went shopping 10 times this year for shit that you probably not even going to wear three times Mm -hmm. or furniture you don't even sit on or uh, glassware and dishes. Yeah, glassware and (laughs) dishes that you never drank out of. It's just for decoration, which, all right, let me put this disclaimer out there. I'm not doing this to make anyone feel bad about what they like and I also don't want to control what you buy and what you like but if nobody ever bring it to your attention you might not know that you sick you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. if you're fucking you got gang green you don't know what gang green is. Somebody don't tell you, hey, you got gang green on your foot. And you just walking around here like it ain't nothing because, you know, you still alive. And I actually got a story of that with someone that I know who was walking around with a damn toe fungus and didn't know it was gang green. It was about to cut his damn foot off. But anyway, that's mm-hmm. another topic. Um, but, yeah, if nobody ever challenge you or bring it to your attention, you might never know that you're kind of giving to the... Um, what the I guess the the consumption side of the game you yeah. give to consumerism so um now before I go any further um this is not broke guy talk or uh um cheap guy talk because we're gonna get into a debate on that too um this is just to bring it to your attention it's just going the opposite way of what you normally do just to see how you feel about it. If you feel some type of way about it, that means, okay, you might want to change something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you don't feel some type of way, you're probably not even watching this or listening to it, I meant. Or you might just don't give a fuck. So, but we're going to discuss it because I really like this uh, movie. And um, I think a lot of people should at least watch it just to see where they at with they self. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't never got your shit together all the way. So just, you know, kind of check up on yourself, see if you, uh, you know, a, a stupid consumer. It's okay to consume, but you need to consume things that's first useful um, and two, need it first. But, you know, sometimes we splurge too much and it's a whole nother topic if you're talking about black people. Because different cultures consume different uh, ways and um, consume uh, one for need, some for wants. But, you know, our uh, consumption is more want, I would like to think. When it come down to food, you don't want, uh, you don't want nothing that don't taste good. Because it's like, it's all for want, 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 want. Your body don't give a fuck about what you like. It okay. know what it needs to survive, you know what I'm saying, in this realm, but when you get on that want path, it's a momentum, it's like, you don't really give a fuck about what you need, so, um, these guys broke it down to where it was like, they just really show you in the uh, documentary how you can over consume, so, <clears throat> there's um, one dude, I get, what he did, uh, left his apartment and got a small home. Tiny and paid it, yeah, paid for it. But it was actually, it wasn't that small. Well, one guy had got that apartment. It was 625 square feet. That's like an average little small one bedroom apartment. It's not a studio. Well, a studio. But, you know, some apartments, I guess they call them studios because my first apartment was 740. And it wasn't the smallest, but it ain't big. Yeah. But, you know, it was one person. But he had it to where. That one section can turn into two bedrooms. It could turn into a kitchen. It could turn into an office. Like he had moving walls and stuff like that. Um, 
and he just had open space and it was real nice you know everything was decked out and it looked pretty pretty cool and then uh, they showed a couple of people in small homes if you don't know what small homes are they call them tiny homes they're kind of like tool sheds that's built um for a living so it might only be 300 square feet 200 square feet some are two-story they get real creative with some of them and some of them they kind of like uh really look like a real real tiny home or like a little outhouse um but you know you got people buying those because there's no rent once you have them and it has the same thing it has shower everything in it or whatever uh because they feel like you know they don't want to keep uh i guess paying the system to live <laughs> Which is smart. Um, Paying over a thousand dollars to stay in some shit you would never some, own. Some places way more than that. A thousand dollars is cheap. But uh, yeah, so um, he was uh, also breaking down like, okay, what are you buying at your house? Like, are you buying stuff for you? Or are you buying it for your guests? Are you buying it just cause? Like, and how many times are you doing that? Like, okay, you go to the grocery store for groceries. Are you buying food to live or are you buying colorful um, packaging that looks sweet and delicious? <clears throat> and then, you know, you can't have enough of that. So you go buy the big pack of everything and wind up how much shit you really eat. You know what I'm saying? On a day to day, -to -day basis, just like. Um, being minimalistic doesn't mean you have to be cheap or doesn't mean you have to be uh, um, live like a third world country person like oh, I'm not gonna buy no toilet paper I'm just using one damn drag no you, you don't have to live like a caveman but that was basically breaking down like analyze what you spend it um, and why you spending it uh, are you just doing it for the look and if you are, then you're going to fall down a deep trap because, you know, it's a, it's a momentum to everything. So if you start young with just, you know, buying, let's say you bought 10 damn cars in your 20s just to have. Okay, cool. You can do that. But then shit, in your 40s, how many cars you think, if you keep that up, how many cars you think you'll have by your 40? So you take that mindset with any other thing. Some people got 200 pairs of shoes. And I ain't gonna lie, at one point I had about 80 pairs of shoes. 75, 80, something like that. And like I was like, once I got them, I was, I was even buying fillers. I call them fillers, just buying shit just cause. Like, you remember we used to go to Rue or some shit and I just see like some little cheap $20 shoes. Like, oh, them look all right. I might wear them once or mm -hmm. twice. Let me just get them make my shoe collection go up. You know what I'm saying? Like, just dumb shit like that. But we take that mindset and do it with everything. And we the opposite of minimalism. We're maximalism. Mm -hmm. Like, how the fuck can we maximize every damn thing? You got, uh, you buy a bigger house and still need a storage or a garage and a damn storage because you got most shit you want to buy. And then you got, goddamn, uh, uh, your garage can't even fit your car because you got, um, hey, you'll close that door. I hear my voice like echoing. But, um, you can't even put your garage in your damn car because you got, um, too much going on. My bad, y'all. Uh, I was hearing a little echo. All right. Um, so yeah, so we finna talk about that. So what do you what do you what are your thoughts on the documentary? And it, oh, I ain't see that look a documentary about the important things is the subtitle. That's funny. That's exactly what it is. Um, I thought it was a powerful doc documentary, uh, one that I guess sheds light on exactly what you just said about the important things, shit that you actually need and will use that's beneficial to your everyday life. Um, not just buying something because it looks good or you need some retail, uh, what is it when people shop for feel good? Retail ther 
therapy. I don't. I never heard of that. I just know it's fucking get your shit together. <laughs> You got low self esteem or something, something right? I don't know. Yeah, just kind of. It's almost like buying shit to fill a void in your in your life that never completely gets filled. It's like a black hole. Like you keep buying shit, buying shit, buying shit. See, but I think but that's that's only filled. speaking on one side of the coin. I think the other side of the coin don't even know that they do it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it might be three sides of the coin, which really ain't a damn coin. But y'all know what I mean. It's uh. One side is like something something's wrong, you know, you fill in the void. You know, you never had shit, that's still filling the void. Oh, I ain't never had shit. I'm finna buy everything. Okay, that's filling the a childhood void. Mm-hmm. Then the other side is they don't even know that they're doing it because they just, you know, brought up in this society. And then the other I think another part is people just wanna keep up with stuff. Like you know, they just always want to have the latest things. And, you know, if you don't do it, you know, it would kind of make you feel like, well, damn, what's you wrong like with me? You're like lame or you out of the loop or you're not keeping up or you're not going to get the attention that so-and-so got because they just bought the new iPhone and they post it and they get 100 likes or some bullshit. And you're like, oh, well, and some people would be like, man, no, it ain't that serious. But it really do be that serious because if that motherfucker get took away, your ass around here crying and shit. Not because you worked hard for it. It's just because it's a material object that you attach to. But um, do, what would you categorize yourself on the 1 to 10 scale of being minimalist, 1, and then 10, a maximum? Maximum list is what I call it. Ooh, I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. That's why we have this because uh, a lot of people who well, don't listen to this. On a scale basis, I never thought about it. Well, uh, I would, since I consider myself a plain Jane, like I'm not extravagant with accessories and uh, just a lot of extra shit. I think um, I would probably say like probably say. A five or a six because i'm still a little monkey minded like there was a point when it was when when i shop i would um see like a shirt or something that i like that i might not necessarily know that i'm going to wear to a certain event or a certain thing but i just see it and like it so i buy it with the assumption that oh i'll i'll wear it for something Mm -hmm. so it's there so i just buy it for no particular re- reason. So were you uh, aware of your consumption or you was just like, um, like what side of the, hey, bye. I just little nigga annoying sometimes. Um, like, okay, before you buy something, do you have it in your mind that like, okay, I know I don't need it. Um, but I'm getting it anyway, or like you're not even aware. Huh? Um, I probably wasn't even aware. It was just something that I did. I didn't think twice about it. I just bought the damn shirt. I didn't think twice about it. I just I saw something that I liked, so I got it. Especially if uh, I had the money. Some so is it more? Dollars. Is it more of like uh, a marketing thing, like? Mm-mm. I definitely can't say I'm persuaded by marketing and advertising. Well, you had to be if you went to a store. What are you saying? But I was a probably. I don't. I don't. I don't. Come on, think logically before you say this because it's being recorded. I don't look at TV and look at. Okay, you're not thinking logically. Listen, I'm. Can I finish? I already know what you're about to say, but go ahead. I don't see a commercial that says. Macy's has a twenty percent off sale this this weekend. Come on in. That doesn't make me go to Macy's. Like I'm already going to the mall with the mindset I'm going to spend money. Like duh. So I might be going there for one thing, but end up getting some more shit just because so, I'm already there. So was my question about TV advertisement or did well, I yes, say marketing? Marketing. I said marketing. Marketing is. 
360, a whole circle. I didn't, I didn't directly say, did you see it on TV? That's a one form of marketing. They only market to a certain audience on TV. People who who are actually have time to sit down. Like that's a whole nother demographic. But I said marketing in a whole, as in you said Macy's. How do you know it's a Macy's? Because I've been in the mall and I see the Macy's exactly. sign. Exactly. So that's a part of marketing. It's a sign, a sign right there. That's even part of marketing. That's promotion. And it's, you know, it's the signs behind the colors. The reason why Macy's is bigger than any other store. It's a whole nother thing. So they're subconsciously, huh? They're actually going out of business. Allegedly. Um, but, you know, subconsciously, you don't know you're being marketed to. Like, oh, you know you're going to the mall. But I ain't saying this like directly. You seen a magazine and say twenty percent off, so you want to just go buy something. But you know, you, they got you. You still in the store. They don't give a damn how you got here. They know they market put shit out in different ways, and your ass came in. It don't matter if it was word of mouth, it was a drive by. Uh, goddamn, you seen a damn app. They don't care. They got you in there, so. Yeah. Maybe it's just, you know, part of marketing. Me, personally, typically, if I'm going to the mall, it's because I have a mindset that I'm looking for a shirt or I'm looking for some pants or I'm looking for some shoes. Now, when I get there, I might uh, venture to another store just because I'm already in there. Marketing. So I end up You don't think they know these things? I mean, of course. That's what I'm saying. Like, how marketing. many people really go... In one store, one store, and get what they oh, you want. Think they got cameras in Sometimes the I've done it if I'm if I'm uh, pressed for time. See, people think it's cameras in but the stores I'm just going for to the mall, I'm security. The they ain't got cameras in the, in the shit for security. They doing it for data. They tracking what what. As soon as a person come in the store, where did he go to first? He or she go to first. Okay, how much time do they spend at this rack that says fifty percent off? Is that effective to put the fifty percent off rack in front, or is it effective to put it in the middle? They use this for tracking points and data. They not just run about no damn stealing. They can really give a fuck. They got insurance on closes. They don't give a fuck about that. So you know what I'm saying. But it's other things to it. But all right, to really get back on the on topic. So you say you're a five or a six. So that means you're, I mean, is it a financial thing? Because I think with more finances, the less control we all have over ourselves. Like, if I gave you 100000 right now and you still maintain your same life, you know what I'm saying, your same lifestyle, do you think you would? Buy more or less shoes if you go shopping for a pair of shoes. Realistically, I'd probably buy more. That's what I'm saying. So if you're a five or six, is that because your your finances are tight? Probably. But so then, then you, again, so then you're like probably said, not a five or a six. Like I said though, I'm I consider myself a plain Jane. I'm not extravagant with my shopping. I don't mean nothing. Like, that don't a plain Jane can still buy ten thousand worth of bullshit for her house that she don't need. I don't. That don't mean nothing. My no. question is: You say you you um, well. My my statement is: You say you're a five or six with financial. Uh, I ain't saying you got financial problems, but without the financial full financial freedom. So now. That made me think that you're not a five or a six. That made me think that you're like a seven or eight. It's just you don't have the liquid funds to go do what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just like saying, all right, this is a bad tangent, but fuck it. It's like saying you a hoe or you ain't. It's like, oh, I I ain't no hoe. I've been with one man all my life. Uh, maybe because he's taking care of you. But, bitch, you, as soon as he's not taking care of you, you know you want to go be with, like, 10, 15, 20 other niggas. It's like, you know, the intent and your potential or whatever. But maybe that's a a bad uh, analogy. But anyways, I would like to thank um, I'm a hmm, circums- circumstantial three or four. Because 
I'm a creative person. I like to think. <laughs> and um, so I, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind variety of things every now and then. But I always have a uh, like a cap over myself to know like, hey, calm the fuck down. But like, you know, some days I might want to. Um, I might have an idea for something. I might want to go buy, you know what I'm saying, some shit. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't think I'm a consumer like that. What mm-hmm. you think? From knowing me personally. Um, <laughs> you like to shop for clothes and shoes. Man, that's a different topic. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't pay for them shits. What are you talking about? Well, you still consuming. So imagine if you did, you know. Man, if somebody gave you some shit free. You you just holding on to it for now, but you wind up, you know how much shit I done gave away? Yeah, but you still got it. I mean, a lot of stuff I bought too, but I'm just saying. Like, did you yeah, but I gave all it away. Of it that you bought? That's you just... why you give it away. I had 80 pairs of fucking shoes. I, I couldn't even wear. Two a damn day. So does does that still mean you're a minimalist? Because you buy a lot of shit, but you give it away? Like, it almost sounds like a justification. Mm, oh, that is a good justification. Because is LeBron James a, a consumer, an overly consuming person because he bought 300 um, bikes to give away? I don't know. On his credit card, it's still gonna say say a purchase for X amount of thousands, but but he bought it to give away. You're buying it for yourself, but if you don't use it, or you no, I'm not. It I'm not just buying it for it myself. I'm not just buying it for myself. So you literally buy stuff because I always give it away. Well, I mean, I was raised like that. I was raised like that, so I was every year we always gave away like half our stuff. So after a while, you know, you buying stuff basically to give it away. My mom well, anybody to, can say that. No, I'm just like, saying, like, if you condition your kid from, uh, probably, like, my mama started us doing that at, like, five, six, seven, maybe. Always, like, every summer we give away our shit. I mean, you get more shit for school coming up anyways, but it just became a thing to where, you know, hey, um, you know, half of your shit going to be gone in a year or a couple months, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, but it goes back to, like you said, LeBron James buys 300 bikes and gives them away. Like, and you're saying you buy stuff and eventually you'll give it away. Do you buy things specifically to give them away? Like, you buy this not, and uh, immediately give it to... Not, like, it's uh, not for you. You're you wearing it. It's nowhere in the equation. You're buying it to give it away. Not, uh... I wouldn't say... Yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily, but uh, occasionally, yes, I do. But yeah, on average, I guess it's it's for me. But I'm it's like it's still at the end of the day, it's not going to be mine in a while. Well, yeah, and I might not even wear it. <laughs> but I might not even wear the shit. Like I've had shoes that I just I bought, tried on, took a picture in it, didn't leave my house, took a picture, and gave them away. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I don't know. I get what you're saying though, but uh, I don't think I'm a. I think I'm becoming even more of a minimalist as I get older and become yeah. more conscious of just the whole game of consumption. Like, you know, like I told you, I've, I've took marketing class. Well, it was mandatory in my degree that we take marketing classes, and we had to take uh, science classes, and it teaches us the psychology of marketing and all that shit. Not the whole um, you know, the full spectrum of it, but we had to learn the basics. So once I started learning like the science to the shit, I'm like, bitch, I ain't finna be this nigga that y'all just can get because y'all know what certain co- colors trigger certain things and why a uh, spring um, um, marketing um, campaigns and shit look like this and why summer look like this and this and that. Like, no, nah, I ain't that nigga, bitch. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. I rather I ain't gonna lie. I rather be the nigga doing it to the people than getting it done. I'm sorry, but 
that's why I like try to have shit like this that people can kind of like, you know, feel a little uneasy when they buying 12 pairs of shoes and not going to wear them shits. And then now <clears throat> you feel like you need a bigger closet because you ain't got enough space, okay? You can't knock your closet down in an apartment. So you feel like, fuck it, I'm just going to get, man, I ain't resign. I'm going to get me a bigger place. Why? Because you need more space to put more shit. That you're not going to use. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, at the end of the day, none of this shit really makes sense. Like, I mean, it's life. But, uh... Or even speaking on that, about um, moving to another place because you don't have enough space. If it takes you, goddamn, more than five or six trips to get your shit to your other place... You probably Five, have six. too much shit. Bitch, if it take you more than two hours, I would say not to pack up and leave, but once your shit packed, if it take you more than two hours, bitch, you got too much shit. Yeah. To me, but I could just be saying in my realm, because, you know, people in bigger places got way more shit. But that's the whole thing. It's like, you buy... A fucking coffee table, the two mat, two matching chairs, the computer desk table that go with that. You just got it just cause it ain't even in your office. You just got it cause it match with it. But then they say they had two lamps that go with it too. If you buy that today, and you also get twenty percent off another purchase, like it just keep taking you down the, the rabbit hole. And I ain't saying don't buy no furniture for your place, or don't buy nice things or whatever, but just be more conscious of like, all right, nigga, goddamn, I don't need fucking f um, five couches in my living room just because they said it was buy one, get one free, and then you bought that one, got that one free, so now you get another 50% off another purchase. Then when you're leaving, they give you a coupon that say, you know, when you come back, we'll give you another 10% off a TV. And then when you do, you finance a TV. They say, oh, well, if you finance it, we'll give you uh, this 32-inch for half. You know what I'm saying? Just keep milking your ass. And that's all I'm saying. Like, if you could just cut, cut your consumption down, I think you will be less stressed because now you don't have so many bills. Um, and you don't have so much upkeep. Like, people don't realize it's overhead. And a lot of things, like the most shit you get, you know what I'm saying? Probably the most guests you want to have overnight because you got furniture. But the more guests you have, the most somebody going to fuck up your shit. So now you yeah. got to, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to go, it's maintenance to things. So if y'all <clears throat> want to watch that, uh, the documentary, once again, it's the, the Minimalist. Minimalism. I keep calling them the minimalists. Because, because that's, that's what the they, guys call their, themselves. Well, I didn't minimal. just call them that. The minimal. That sounds more like a movie, The Minimalist, instead of minimalism. No, because it's the minimalist. Which one would you, would you click on if you was on Netflix or something? Minimalism, because if it says the, the minimalist, I might not be able to identify with that word because it's describing a person. So I would think that's well, just about I think that different person. because I think minimalism I would. Minimalism is more. This is the subject. No, minimalism subject. just sounds like a documentary name. And so if it's in the documentary section, I guess minimalism work. But whatever. Y'all need to go watch uh, minimalism and uh, just think about it. You know what I'm saying? You got to change shit. I ain't, I ain't nobody. What's your um? Your uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but what? when you say what makes more sense, I don't know. What you call that? What do I call it? It's just kind of like a, it's like a mantra. It's just kind of like a thing that I, I try. It's like a principle I have. Like before I make a decision, I try to analyze everything. It's hard when you have to make a split decision, but um, I kind of look at shit and I just say which one makes more sense. You know what I'm so when you watch this, analyze what you've been doing. And then look at their message and then, you know, compare and contrast and then, you know. Uh, Ask yourself. 
Which like, one makes more which sense? Which one makes more sense when you go? When you go out and they say, hey, um, you know you just went in the store for a, a 50 cent soda, but now they got, oh, buy. You see how they be having the, in the soda things, two for two twenty five or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, so you're still you spending even, more money yeah. at the end of the day, whether it's on oh, sale or not. Oh, I'm saving more. No, you're, no not. you're spending more. You're still spending more. <laughs> and if you really do the calculations, most of the time you're not even getting more. If you think about it, like when you buy those Red Bull cans, it's like three different sizes now. But it's just really the damn can. It's not like the liquid that's in the shit. Just like, you remember I just gave you them bag, what what them bag of, uh, what the, what the hell I was eating? Them was sp- pistachios? No, oh, them was, yeah. them was cashews. They was honey flavored. It was a super expensive pack of fucking cashews. They was like $6. Store. They was uh, at Racetrack when I was in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Right down 31st in Oakland Park. The new racetrack over there. Um... I seen some new flavor of cashews, whatever, and I get the pack. Like it's literally I everybody I even showed was like, "What the hell?" Like she was like, "I showed my auntie." She was like, um, "What they had fell out?" I'm like, "No, <laughs> I haven't even, I haven't even dug in here yet." Like I'm about to go take these shoes. Like, "Oh, well, I go take them shits back right now." It was literally a handful of nuts. Well, I like, probably can. I can count. I can probably there. count. It was probably by realistically. <laughs> realistically, it was like maybe fourteen halves, not the full nut. Fourteen halves. <laughs> it was like seven nuts. <laughs> yeah, so it was like seven nuts broke down. Bro, a dollar a nut for some flavored cashews. But look though, because they're oh, new. how about mm. how about they got another bigger bag though. Oh, you're saving? No, you're not saving more. So, so get that out of your mind. Only way you saving more if you doing wholesale, nigga. That's the only time. Bitch, your little cheap ass buying some goddamn uh, two liter soda. They talk about save more if you buy buy a uh, three liter. It's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Unless you buying a whole twelve pack of these motherfuckers, and instead of mm-hmm. buying them individually. You're going to buy 12, and they're going to take off, like, two or three. You know what I'm saying? It's like wholesale, but... Yeah. Anyway. Um, I thought of not. I say um a lot. And I say like a lot. Yeah, you're retarded. You're retarded. Like, um... <laughs> um, like... Well, in my... Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to become a, a minimalist. Because, to be honest, I really don't, I, per, I, per, I purposely procrastinate on buying material things. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed I do that? Yeah. How long have you noticed? Um, since, I want to say since I knew you, because when I first met you, it's not like I knew everything about you, but when I first started really getting to know you, I noticed it. It's crazy. I would well, rather because I thought you were cheap. <laughs> I would rather spend ten thousand, which I spent over ten thousand, developing an app. And you could tell me it's 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 kind of crazy because I could be getting gypped. But you could tell me a technology costs X Y Z, and I believe that and spend that on something useful or potentially to make money. Um. Versus just buying shit. Like, I'm always, I was just always used to coming across shit. Mm-hmm. Or things, you know, um, from the area I come from. It's easy to come across all, all types of things. So, I never was the one to uh, be ready to just go out and go get something just because it's new. It's like, new is only for the moment. Everything was new. At, you, you can go buy a damn PlayStation 1 right now. You gonna say, oh, that old thing? Yeah, cause it's on PlayStation Four, about to be on number five. So it's like I'm, I never was ready to just jump out there head first to go buy something, cause I already know in six months this shit gonna have four different versions, and it ain't gonna be really worth too much. So with that being said, 
Um, you all need to stop spending all your goddamn money on I shit do you don't shit. on shit you don't use. If you ain't use it, look at whatever you just bought and say, time yourself. Don't just do it just because. Time yourself. If you only use this motherfucker at least once a week, throw that bitch away, give it away, sell it, take it back, whatever. Yeah. Because you don't need it. Obviously, you don't need it. I give you a toothbrush, you're going to use that motherfucker every day, or at least every other day. <laughs> <laughs> I give your ass some damn... Three thousand dollar worth is uh three thousand dollar Jordans. You're not gonna wear them every day, so obviously you don't need them. Think of it. I think of it like this, like to kind of sum up what minimalism is. It's not about being cheap. It's not about being cheap or uh, frugal. It can help well, you save well, money, well, of course. Mean, I, I like thought, way to I say thought cheap. that was a candy. <laughs> it's like another way to say cheap. <laughs> Um, someone who like doesn't want to spend their money like is it's not about being cheap. It's about uh, getting what you need. What's so useful. what is an example of being cheap, aka frugal? Um, and what's a example of being minimalistic in a po- in a positive light? Uh, being cheap. Ooh. Not not the girl version, cause y'all think a nigga ain't pay for your food is he cheap? This nigga can have ten million in his damn bank and been doing good for it, so he just don't want to pay for your damn food tonight, cause bitch you ain't worth it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's, that's another topic, but uh, yeah. Uh, what is being cheap? What is being cheap? That's a good question. Cause I think people use that word loosely. They do. That's why it's kind of hard to. Hmm. What is being cheap? An example off the top of my head. When it comes to consumerism, what is being cheap? I would say, um, let's say you know you need... Toilet paper. You know you need some toilet paper, but you don't want to buy the pack for $8. So you... (laughs) I don't know. You go to Wendy's and steal some of their napkins. I don't know. Okay, that's, that's a good. That's, no, that's a good. That's a good. But is it being example. cheap or is it being smart? Because <laughs> now you don't have to pay for the wipe you. Yeah, but how many damn napkins you don't stole? All these people <laughs> shit or what? Yeah, but that's being cheap. That's being cheap because okay, you feel cheap. like it's not financially valuable or monetarily valuable for you to go pay. For some toilet paper to wipe your own ass. You feel like somebody else need to provide that. Now me, I'm cheap when it comes to water. I don't believe in buying water. I will finesse Walmart all day. You remember that day I finessed the ass for 40, 30 cent for a whole gallon. Yeah, I paid 30 cent for a whole new gallon of some good spring water. It could have been alkaline, I don't know. Probably was a runoff from the dead toilet. I don't know. Okay, so and being but hold a on, let me finish. Hold on, let me finish. I don't believe in buying water. I I just don't like. Okay, food snacks. Mike can buy. Uh, if I got some food snacks, or if I buy some food snacks for somebody else. But not no, that. We we'll do that. I would. I would rather uh, who I do buy food snacks. <laughs> this is a, this is a real <laughs> podcast. I ain't got time to play with these people. No. Anyways, you know that's like. I don't give a damn. What? Ain't no governments listening to this ghetto ass shit. Okay. Hey, hi, off uh, FBI. Really. This is allegedly. Allegedly, we are all just joking. It's all jokes. Whatever. This podcast fuck should y'all. be called allegedly. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I don't. I buy water, but I just don't believe in buying water. I got a home, but I don't believe in buying condoms. He he rather ask people. He ask everybody for condoms. That makes sense. I don't believe in buying condoms. Especially if you don't I don't even believe in wearing them. Do I want to buy something I don't even want to use? But I don't believe in um, paying water, so I'm cheap when it comes to water. I'm looking for, uh, yeah, I'm looking for the cheap, the cheap way out of water because I feel like it's a right for water to be free. 
But that's deeper. Anyway, so now go back to your um Being your a minimalist being a, a minimalist would an example of that is if it's just you living in your apartment, wow. your house, whatever. Just just you. Scoop. My bad. I'm and if you that. have got down a set of twelve plates with the matching twelve bowls and the matching twelve cups and the twelve forks and <laughs> the twelve spoons, <laughs> the twelve knives. You don't need all that shit. You literally need no, two you of you each. You should never even said twelve. And they mostly come in twenty-four pack. So you would have bought the twenty-four pack. <laughs> you don't need all that shit. You need two of each. Well, we ain't gonna For say one, what they what they need. To, like the if it's just you, absolute number. There. Let's just say you don't need that number. We ain't okay. gonna say what they need because we're not here to put. You know, we ain't law creators and we ain't, okay, we ain't right. them people. You don't need that goddamn. You don't, you're not eating off of 12 plates at dinner, at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're using one fucking plate. If you and don't big, clean up after yourself, then okay, you chairs. might need two or three. <laughs> they got six chairs, got six at, chairs, chairs table. at the table for they one stay person. They <laughs> with a cat. Like, now, if you have guests over... That's understandable. So you okay? You so buy we buy. Plastic? So we buying things for guests now. Some people do. That's crazy. I like, know. That's what people the say. Oh, of people you know, do. I don't want people to look at me like I'm cheap because I gave them some paper plates and um, a plastic cup and some plastic. So, bitch, you better take this all this plastic. Man, boy, see, <laughs> see people. That's why the universe know not to bring no type of people around me, because I'm liable to go off on your ass. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm militant with this shit. Fuck that. I'm a militant minimalism, <laughs> minimalist, <laughs> militant. But you no, know, if you if especially if you at my house and I'm feeding you, mm-hmm. and you say, "Well, dang, what a real plate." What? Okay, I got no, no, no. I'm finna get the real plate. Let me see your plate. I'm finna get the real plate. You know, I'm gonna eat your shit right in your face. God damn it. Talk about some damn real. Get your Hollywood ass up out of here, man. We done lost our way. No, fuck that. I'm saying it like that. We done lost our goddamn mind. You around yeah. here buying all this bullshit. Let's let's cut to the cake to the chase. We ending this motherfucker with some realness now. Stop buying all this bullshit. Find out why the fuck you even like girls tell me, oh, when I'm depressed, I get online and shop. Bitch, they got you. You're going to go spend your money and be extra depressed. On some shit you don't need. You're going to go more broke. spend your money and be extra depressed <laughs> when you find out you don't spend 150 on some damn cleaning up gloves <laughs> or some damn some fucking pink socks, 24 karat pink socks. You don't spend 3000 on a damn pillowcase. But man, come on, man. Let's stop playing. Let's stop playing. Who? Man, people do stupid shit like that. You crazy. Three thousand dollars on pillowcase. I bet if I go I bet if I Google three thousand dollar pillowcase right now, it'll be some some high thread count, some Egyptian uh silk or some shit. Realistically the everyday person is not buying. I didn't say that yet. I was being um extra being over the top pillow case. Look at that. Nervonia, what? Oh. oh, whatever, whatever. But anyways, yeah. Basically, spending money you don't have. On Stop shit you don't the need. fucking madness, people. I do, and I'm. I, I ain't finna sit here and act like I don't buy shit still that I don't need. But I have cut down probably seventy five percent of that shit. Mm-hmm. I still got uh. Enough shoes to wear, um, you know, maybe two months without wearing another pair of shoes every day. Uh, I still got clothes, you know. I can probably not wear the same thing for, um, you know, a couple months. Or if I switch it up, I could probably go six months, maybe a year. It's looking like I ain't never wore this before, but... Mm-hmm. Um, I have I have had three pairs of shoes before. And I'm not saying, oh, I had three pairs of shoes when I grew up, I'm going to have 30. 
because I had three then. It's just like I can I can do with both. I can do with a mansion or a motherfucking RV. But <clears throat> it's just my reasons to why I need a mansion would be because I'm trying to house a lot of people, not just because I need space to motherfucking put more shit in, but stop playing with yourself and stop playing with me. <laughs> For real, stop playing with me, bro. I don't want to hear all them excuses about all this and that. Nigga, you got too much shit in your hide. You got too much shit in your life. You got too much shit on your brain. You just you just too much sauce. And that's why this shit title, too much sauce. You got too much sauce in your life. You put too much sauce on your burger, you take that motherfucker back, don't you? You got too much sauce in your life. So let's just ease up on the ease up on the sauce, see? Ease up on the sauce. I don't even know how to talk like that. Like Mike Tyson. It's impeccable. Ease up on the sauce. But yeah, ease up on the sauce, man. Just just vibe a little bit. You might stretch out that thighs instead of buying ten thousand uh, worth the damn belts. You know what I'm saying? Get you three nice belts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless you're a belt collector and you want to sell them. That's different. But fuck y'all. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck everybody who listening to this. Nah. Wait, I just That's went, not nice. I just went. You didn't mean that. I just went wrong. But yeah, if you're a consumer, fuck you. And good night. You want to say something before we get off? Because... Mm-hmm. Y'all don't know y'all fucking the world up with all that consumption. That this? mean that mean more trash in your house, and guess what? More trash, more landfills. Just when you finna buy some bullshit, just ask yourself what makes more sense. Do I do I need this? Do I need this? No, you gotta do it fast though. Cause if you this? ponder, you're gonna always go. You're gonna always go with your brain. You convince yourself that you need yeah, it. Yeah. If you just say, Do I need this and be walking away at the same time? Like you gotta be walking away saying that. Do I need this? Yeah, be walking out the store though. So you can be like, I don't feel like going back. But see, most people be like, oh, I'm already here. Let me just get it. All right, well, trick no. yourself. Do I need this? No, you don't. And do I need this podcast to go on and on? No, I don't. Goodbye.